Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today you are going to see two British light tanks, tier 9, tier 10. Um, tier 9 game is going to be way more exciting because the score is going to be very very close and we will do some good calls and you will see how RNG is treating this tank and probably you will say because it is the case with a tier 10 it's going to be in general not very close battle but very good score um and fellas this week you are going to see all sorts of stuff um i will try to do some live gameplays i still own you 50b tech tree showcase um and i'm working on it i know lazy skill how dare you anyways i hope you are having a beautiful day here uh, fellas and i hope you are going to enjoy the couple of the british lights gameplay skill it british lights are worth it hell no they are the worst tanks uh worst lights in the game don't even think about going for it when we are clear with that good we can start our game so Right here, fellas, I decided to do the very first scout run over there. That's what we are doing. And we are giving important information for our team, right? Uh, the 113 and Amoex is going here quite aggressively. What that basically means, we can't really play against them. And we are getting some assisting damage right here. So why not to get some kind of use of all this. I'm doing another scout run and maybe someone is going to hit that Amex M454. Um, this is important. It is a tier 10 French um, heavy tank which have quite some armor and in this much making he is feeling quite well. Well, apart uh, two artists which can fap on him and then he is going to be sad. Anyway, so far in the first minute of the battle nothing too critical happened um, and obviously I cannot play in that position which I played before so I definitely need to relocate. Why so? Because I am useless right there. And this tank is pretty much three shotable for majority of the tanks in this game. For someone it's even two shotable like uh the same Jack Tiger, the same Amax, uh, three shotable for 113. Obviously, lights uh, can, uh, especially the T49s with the derb gun, they can shit on me quite a hard end then i will cry in the corner anyways it's not about that it's about the decisions which we are going to make and oh boy oh boy rng which is waiting for us so look what i decided to do right here i thought i'm going to take the middle and we are going to get quite some use of all this right this is my initial plan and that's what i want to do so what is happening right here skill pir, 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 pir. going into the middle and he is trying to work his way up here right um maybe there is some lights which is going to do a mistake and as you can see the t49 per 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 going right here it's perfect shot into the side i could pray him a bit more but uh, it doesn't matter we hit him hip hip hooray life is beautiful and right there you can see the tier 9 amax look tier 9 amax have a tank by the way the tier 9 uh, have is way better than tier 10 tier to tier just saying and he is thinking about dropping down since he dropped it down he made his roof a flat angle for me instead of having this kind of angle we have like this angle so pew 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 and we managed to penetrate him quite easily and the 257 decided to go in front and we are punished him very good by the way the potential of the damage which this tank has with um 25 ammunition is not huge so keep that in mind uh it's just no bueno speaking about rng okay that was not like 100 percent aimed shot or something i i will give it for the type 61 maybe this one will hit full aimed shot yeah um, this tank uh, RNG is bloody horrible. I knew I'm going to get spotted by this 257 and I am for sure. So what we are going to do here, we are going to um, wait a bit um, and we will come back to the same position. Maybe now, look, full aim at shot. Yes, we got it. A beautiful side shot for 200 damage. Yeah, it's British light tank. What did you expect? Another one. He turned it at the right time. So I cannot complain about this. That was not ideal shot from my side. Maybe this one? No. I did not manage to find the shot. Although probably I could do that successfully. But it is how it is. Not much what we can change there. Now look at this um, cow. Which is called GVE100. Aiming, gaming, gaming. Oh my bananas. From banana farm. <laughs> 
yeah as you can see we had quite some fun speaking about the gun handling with this tier 9 as you can see i don't have the third mark of excellence yet but currently i have a way harder task to do um, and to deal with let's say like that what I decided to do now, I decided to go for that a Conqueror and maybe I can eliminate him from the game. If I'm not mistaken, he's down to one shot and as you can see it is the case. Excellent. So, what we are going to do now, first of all we are trying to find the shot into the 907, maybe. Side shot. I'm telling you fellas, this uh, sometimes RNG in this game is treating you so damn bad, it's crazy. But don't worry, we are going to have the um, payback for this 907, believe me. Anyways, we are going for this guy and obviously, if <laughs> no. the Conqueror is able to hit the snapshot while turning and um, we even be aimed for um, three days straight uh, in a couple of times, we miss that. But it's okay, that's how the game is working like and uh, <clears throat> fellas not much what you can do about it you can cry you can scream you simply cannot change it and that's how everything is uh, working and that's how everything is looking like anyways um fellas situation is looking quite bad right here seven to eight and i need to do something and i decided to try to punish people for their stupidity but as you can see it is not the case but fellas wait wait for it we are playing very very important role right there yes we are trying to craft some kind of angle for that type 61 for obvious reasons but um i failed unfortunately um it doesn't matter we still can get some use so what we are doing we are trying to get a bit closer to that type 61 uh, and maybe now we can hit him aiming for three days straight and hey look at this all we needed we needed um to have couple of tries and this guy simply took one for the team excellent anyways t49 is down to the one shot and t49 is trying to escape rng is giving rng is taking fellas here you go the um, shot in the t49 excellent 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 shot by us now the 907 he have 300 hit points left and there is a fosh over there and there is a jack tiger so right here i'm kind of i kind of want to spot them over there but in the same time this 907 is a big threat so we managed to hit him once into the um, upper plate which is very very good and uh, if you was in the stream and i had this battle you will uh, you will know i read this 907 like uh, like a book i read him very 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 well um anyways jack tiger over there i'm i am trying to f off from jack tiger and there's a fosh 155 and i said 907 will come from behind for obvious reasons right and that's what is happening right now but first of all I want to hit the Fosh 155 for obvious reasons. Now I'm trying to escape a bit. Pir, 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 pir. And uh, believe me, I'm paying attention on the max map pretty much all the time when I am playing the game. And um, if, if I need to say the amount of the time which I'm looking into the map, probably it's one in a couple of... Um, once in couple of seconds, I would say. I mean, obviously everything is depending on situation. And quite funny thing. You saw how the game trolled me in the start of the battle. Now pay attention, the 907 is getting trolled here. Um, he could penetrate me, but he didn't. And if I'm not mistaken, I said the chat, the 907 will try to relocate completely out of his position. And you know what is happening? You won't believe this. 907 is actually relocating pir, 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 out of there. And he is... Um, trying to go like this if i remember that correctly yep this is the case the 907 is trying to relocate right there that's good that's good fellas uh so at this point i noticed that i am reading this 907 very good and i had a big smile on my face because i am trolling uh, i am trolling with a sword and uh, if you played with this tank probably you know it is a piece of shit and it is a big garbage speaking about the trolling things and about the luck in the game and about rng So, you know, by being mad on the RNG and everything, um, think about, uh, about this from a bit different angle. Um, do you think this person is feeling good? No, he is not. He is saying, Nutusuka, suka, gsor. 
that's what he is thinking right now and I can't completely understand it because I would be pissed off if I would be in his position too. Anyways, Jack Tiger exposed himself quite a bit here. Also a big shout out for our Type 61 because he is doing extremely good things right there. He is playing very very well and 907 is over there. 907 is taking one for the team. Um, you know, he was quite unlucky, but in the same time, you saw how many shots we missed in the start of the battle. It was insane how many shots we missed. So, um, you know, there is two sides of the RNG. Sometimes RNG is giving and sometimes RNG is taking. Because, let's get real, this tank should get penetrated by that 907 couple of times for sure. And I would be dead, but in the same time I should hit uh, those shots when I fully aim it too. So, once again, we can't complain about that. And what is happening right there? We have 5 ammunition left, 2 high explosives, 3 gold, and we are getting just closer to um, to proxy spot them. And as you can see, everything is looking Gucci. So we are simply waiting until our uh, clickers will... Yeah, until our clickers will start fapping and until uh, the Type 61 will join the first right here. Very good, brother in arms with the Conqueror gun carrier. Oh. Which is very, very, very good uh, thing. And I noticed that now the Type 61 is saying invite to platoon. By the way, fellas, if not this Type 61, we would not this uh, win this battle. If I remember that correctly, he had, um, he had an insanely, insanely, insanely good score idea. Like a lot of damage dealt, a lot of assisting damage and stuff, you know. Um... Luckily there is no team damage, so Art did not manage it to penetrate us, and look what I'm doing right there. I'm having high explosives and I'm aiming for a pixel. Now look and into this marker, I'm aiming for pixel, searching for pixel, oh, 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 beautiful, 200 for the team. Um, and the Type 61 tried to rig pl a platoon with us, but I was not the one who invited him, the art was who invited uh, me into platoon, so I could not invite him. Uh, one or another way, fellas, the Type 61, you will see everything in score, but Type 61 did an epic job right there, and he played well, he did everything properly, and big thumbs up for for this guy, maybe he is going to see this video, I'm sending you a, bit wet, uh, a big wet kiss, so uh, congratulations with your awesome play and what we are going to do now guys obviously you are going to see the stats uh, after um, the second replay and in the second replay what we are going to do we are having I want to deal with completely with the British lights this is the last replay which I have so let's mix them um, let's mix them together and uh, let's get rid of it right and uh, by any means fellas both of those battles is good uh, but the first one it was more intense if I can say so and our decision which we was doing everything was fine this battle um, enemies will not have that strong team um, but the decisions in the end of the battle is going to be important because well you will see everything yourself right uno momento and we are back if you think what i was doing i was definitely not yawning uh, it's not the case, okay? And if you think so, you are wrong. Fellas, I'm trying to um, provide you with the best content or with a, as good as I can make content, but sometimes yawning is hitting me in the, in the face and then I'm crying in the corner usually. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if it's bothering you and uh, I will ask Kyler's to make a cut right there. Anyways, shitcore. Typical map for a shit core idea. What do we have? We have the Red Shire North Spawn and um, look at this beauty. What is happening right there? So this is a typical bush. Nothing unusual right there. You saw that many many times and I believe it's very very clear what is happening right there. So pretty much my mission is to sit here and to try to punish people which is crossing and people which is which is going up here, so pay attention at this shot, 200 IQ right there, I'm not shooting him, I'm not shooting him, he's not moving, okay, then I will move, pir, 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 pir. come on skill, you can do this, pir, pir, pir. 
I'm using trees as a cover and since we are using trees as a cover he cannot um, shoot us and I am just trying to farm them as much as I can for obvious reasons. So now motion per 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 through the middle of the field we are trying to hit him. Hip hip hooray we managed to do that so far. Um, three successful hits and it's already good with the um, with the shit core because oh boy oh, uh, oh boy so oh boys this vehicle um, tortured me quite a bit but um, I believe majority of you know um, it's GG uh, mark of excellence achieved it took like 200 battles but it was very 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 painful gaming experience with this tank and uh, I am not planning to play with this vehicle anytime soon anyways I decided to relocate and um, I decided to hit that guy first of all and I thought I need to start relocating just because he might spot me but apparently that was not the case but once again I am not complaining I am feeling very very good with this now speaking about our team position is it is not super bad right we have couple of guys in front here but we have a lot of a lot of a lot of bodyguards uh, which is um, sitting right here 50b Grille, Grille, and T30 so those guys is covering everyone which will try to make a pressure like this which is not bad now speaking about the timing which can be in the world of tanks I relocated from this bush over there meanwhile this bush um, he had quite some sniper schnitzels over there which was looking at me right and look what is happening per 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 skill is running for his life he skill is saying ferrari mm, just simply relocating and you know what the ruski light is doing the scout run which you can see on the maxi map and he is trying to outspot me um that was good relocation from our side and in general just lucky timing to be completely honest with you um and i'm happy with that anyways what do we want to do now? Now we want to craft a better angle for a Mr. Grilla or Motion or whoever is playing over there, right? So look at this. Mm -hmm. That was not very good shot by me and I decided to load high explosives so maybe I can smack Grilla for a for, um, bigger amount of the damage but you know what Grilla is safe from us and uh, I am thinking why the flying if I, uh, I loaded this ammunition but you know what um, sometimes it's not very very bad just open your eyes and look into the maxi map as you can see the T49 took one for the team from the high explosives I managed to pen him and this T49 is not effing around he's just going for me while saying blah, 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 blah. but luckily RNG said um, eat caco and he did not manage to penetrate us which is very very good and now you might think but skill why you are saying this bad Battle is good if you have only the score. Wait, wait, be patient. Now, this is kind of a mistake from my side. What I'm doing, I am being a way too brave right there. I want to go and spot the Škoda and this Ude. So, first of all, Škoda is over there trying to set auto aim. I managed to hit him once. We spotted the Fava and um, I took one from the team, from the Udes and from the Ruski Light. So, I lost half of the hit points for being stupid, to be completely honest with you. But shit happens, let it be. That was... Uh, um, by doing this kind of decision, I tried to get, uh, let's say like that, some assisting damage which did not work it very, very well. But it's okay, we have the counter action right there. And as you can see, guys, what can you do? Um, either way, you can try to spot people over there or you can go and uh, uh, deal with sniper schnitzels over there. Now, let's see. Uh, two of us is playing in platoon, so both of them is more likely sitting right there. Convoy is not spotted. Jack Tiger is not spotted. I mean, look at those bushwankers. There is still a lot of things which we can do and I'm going for it. And this is the situation uh, when it is important to be alive with a light in the end of the game. What do you mean skill? I mean it's end of the game. Yes, it is end of the game already. Um, what do I mean by saying this is look at the score, but skill it's only 7.3. But map control, what our team is doing, what enemy team is doing, it's already over when the score was 4 to 4 and when our team decided to um, start pushing the 8-9-0 line and when our team uh, um, had a middle, let's say like that. This is the most important thing but anyways it is how it is right um, the most important thing is to spot um, 
to stay in the uh, with the light tank alive and in the end of the battle you can fix your battle because now it is looking like score is not very good yes we have some blind assisting damage but still score could be way better are you sure about that now look what we are going to do here we are spotting the other fava and the other fava just shot and now i am kind of growing my balls right there and i'm saying come to daddy one into the fava over there and you know what i want to I want to keep him spotting, uh, spotted, and I know I can shoot him once again, plus on top he is not looking at me and the RNG is saying it kako, but in the same time I did not aim it very very well towards this guy, so I have uh, kind of no rights to complain about that, but it is how it is, right? 500 assisting damage right there, I'm trying to shoot him once again, um, obviously I managed to do that, he missed his shot because I mean you need to be lucky to hit the shit core because it's kind of small small tank and when I'm not exposing myself too much you know. Ruski Light is getting spotted with a 6 hit points I'm setting out to him I want to eliminate him of the game and I'm saying we eliminated him of the game. Meanwhile we spotted Art and Jack Tiger. Jack Tiger is getting spotted easy as 2000 assisting damage in my life and there is Art which is running through the open field peer, peer, peer. we are eliminating the clicker from the game and look at this beauty 4.1000 assisting uh, 4.1000 damage dealt and 5.2000 assisting damage plus some blind assisting damage after the end of the game you are going to see that um, you know, both of those British lights is horrible. They are not good. I do not recommend to grind them. But um, although the tanks is terrible, with, a, with the right decisions in the right battle, you can have uh, actually an epic game even tank is sucking a big balls. Anyways, fellas, I hope you enjoyed um, those two replays. I hope you found them entertaining. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you so much for uh, watching. See you next time. Skill is out. Peace. Cheers.